Hi, Vicky Vidalia here. I am with Sean Vidalia. Hello. Hello. And we're cooking together uh, for a party tonight. We're making the best ever beef stew. The recipe was created by Mary Berry. Sean found the recipe in the Chicago Tribune, uh, which is one of our go-tos for some of the best recipes. Sunday section, yeah. It's amazing. And we still get the paper copy. <laughs> Old people. So we are going to start with some beef stew or ground uh, you know, chuck steak you can use. You want about one inch to an inch and a half cubes and you want to keep them uniform so they cook evenly. We're going to start by browning all this. I'm going to brown it in batches and then we're going to actually do more of the cooking. So Vicky's going to work on chopping the onion. Uh, you basically, for, if you're doing this at home, two pounds of meat and then you do a large onion and four ounces of button mushrooms that you quarter. So we're going to get started because we've got a lot to brown. Okay, and I've already cut the mushrooms up just for time's sake. And basically, I just slightly cut the stem off, not the whole stem, and then I just cut it into fours. So you'll get these quarter-sized pieces of the button mushroom. Okay. And then I've also, I've chopped a bunch of onion. I'm just finishing that up um, while he's browning the meat. Hi, welcome back. Well, Sean is working on the, uh, the meat. I'm putting together the sauce. And basically the recipe for the dinner party we're doing tonight is six tablespoons of Worcestershire, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of Dijon, and six teaspoons of curry. And then I'm gonna add beef stock, which is about one and a half cups. And then at the very end, I'm gonna whisk in some um, arrowroot, which is a thickening agent. Now I have tripled the recipe for the dinner party, so in a normal recipe, you just do a third of that. Now I'm going to add in the, the beef stock, and this is the the sauce, especially with the curry. It's just really magical, don't you think, Sean? It's very, very good. So good. So what happens is when I take this out, I am then going to put um, beef stock two cups, which is what you normally do. And then of course for our recipe, we're gonna do six cups of beef stock. And I'm gonna let that heat up in here while Vicky's stirring that. And what you do then is because it has a thickening agent, we're going to add some of the hot stuff into the cold before we reintroduce it into the bowl. Now, I, I just have a question. Do we need to saute the onions? Yeah, we we're, gonna, we're gonna start the to saute them. Okay, perfect. It's all happening at once. So now I'm taking the onions and dropping them in. We're gonna saute them in the pan that we just did the meat in. Kind of grab that flavor. And look how beautiful that sauce is. Yum! So excited about that. Now we're sauteing the mushrooms along with the onions, giving the onions a little bit of a head start. Sean and I really love to cook together. It's something we do on Sundays, which is, it is today is Sunday for us. Um, and we kind of, a, a lot of times we prep a bunch of stuff on a Sunday, go grocery shopping, and then we eat the leftovers and the meals all week. We save money grocery shopping, we have fun doing it together, and it really helps us eat healthier during the week because we're not, we're not having to think about dinner when we're hungry <laughs> and we go to the grocery store and you, you end up with all this stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, potato chips and whatever <laughs> good stuff. So. and we're just trying to blend the flavor and heat up the stock with the mushrooms and the onions and then we're going to basically steal about a cup from here to warm up the arrowroot mixture and then we're going to reintroduce everything into the pot including the meat and pop it in the oven okay what i'm doing now uh this stock has reached a boiling level so I'm gonna be very careful not to get too much of the onion or the mushroom in here, but I'm getting some of the hot beef stock and we're going to cut it in with the whisk into our cooler mixture. I'm gonna to start to put the meat back into our dish to prepare it for uh, enter into the oven. So we're gonna add the meat into the mixture. Stir it around. That looks so good. Yum. Yeah. Is that beautiful? Yep. 
started thickening out. Yeah. I didn't even put all the arrowroot in because arrowroot can thicken really quickly. So. Um, all right, and now we're going to put it into the oven, and we're going to put it in for an hour and a half to two hours. We want it to be hot and bubbly at the very top. Uh, and that's when we'll come back and put the carrots back in. And now it's time to clean up from this mess and get ready for everyone to come over. Yeah, woohoo! We're 10 minutes out from the beef stew being ready. And so now the final steps in preparation. We've got uh, salted boiling water going. And Vicky's gonna chop up some parsley. The parsley is used on top as a garnish, but adds a lot of flavor. And I'm and taking- And nutrients. <laughs> and I'm taking peeled baby carrots and we're going to use two packages of them because remember we tripled everything. All right, moment of truth is here. We've got our carrots uh, drained and ready to go. Ooh, that looks good. We'll pull out the stew. Can we get the carrots? Right and then we've got the carrots right here. And we're going to just add them in. All right. The guests are arriving soon, and we will be serving the stew. And that is how we make the stew. It's so good. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Ready for dinner?